Hello, this is John Todd, and I am working on this um, Keep Your Savings Medicaid Savings Calculator. Just wanted to give you another example of how to use this when we're talking about a single person. So here again, we have the calculator. That's me up there in the, in the corner, and um, just wanted to give you an example here. So we've looked at this with a married couple, and I just want to switch this to a single person. Married, no. And then um, the calculator is going to ignore this. If you already have a number in this for a spouse, since there's no spouse, it's going to ignore this. But we're just going to delete that just for, for the sake of clarity here. So we're talking about a single person in the nursing home, no living, no surviving spouse. And what would Medicaid do with their situation? So here they have $1,000 a month of income. And the cost of the facility is $9,100. And in this case, they um, are they have they get to exclude their home, one car, and their retirement funds. They do have a second vehicle that's worth $5,000. No extra real property, bank accounts that are worth $60,000. Life insurance that's worth $4,567 for a total of $69,567. Now let's look at what happens down here at the bottom. Now this says Medicaid spend down, but really Medicaid is gonna make them spend down virtually everything if you ask them. But the second half here that says advanced asset savings, $34,513.93, that is what I would be able to um, help protect that for that, um, that single person that's in the nursing home and still qualify for Medicaid. Now there's advanced part to that. I'm not gonna explain all the pieces to that, but that $34,000, you could do one of two or three different things. One is you could just put it in a trust for this person and they would get to keep that amount and um, use it along for themselves in their lifetime and still qualify for Medicaid. Now, notice that's not the whole amount, but it's about half of the amount, a little more than half the amount, right close to half. Um, the other thing is that um, sometimes people, instead of uh, putting in a trust for themselves, just choose to give it to their um, child or grandchild or, or favorite charity. Now, again, Remember, these are advanced asset savings um, and making a mistake here can cost you thousands of dollars. Don't do this without, it's not a do-it-yourself project, right? But under the right circumstances, we, we could help you preserve or give an inheritance to your family for the amount that comes up here in the calculator if this is for a single person. So make sure this is marked no for the single person, they're not married. And then when you fill in the assets, and whatever number shows up here, that's what we could probably help them preserve. Um, and then, and then I can't explain all the rest of it right now, but I can, I know how to do that. Okay. After Medicaid, then these these other things are still the same. So, if you if you removed this number again to see what the share of cost would be, we just delete what the facility cost is, and then scroll down here. The share of cost for them would be nine hundred and sixty dollars. And that's really a pretty easy calculation. And if you do nothing here, again, uh, if, the, if they have, uh, if you put this back in, $9,100 a month, um, if, if they did nothing, they could spend this down in, in about nine months. So if you have any further questions, feel free to give me a, a call, call or a contact. Um, there's a way to, to reach us here at this nursing home savings. Text that to us and we'll get a message. We'll put you on our list. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.